Hello everybody, John here, and today onto the garage. I'm changing the radiator grill on my Volkswagen Transporter T5.1 2014. On literally my third trip out on my new transporter, Alfie, I had a bird strike. <laughs> so a pigeon decided to fly straight into the front of the car and has broken the grill. Um, it is beyond repair whilst keeping the cosmetics right um, without spending plenty of money and repainting it. So I've decided to replace it entirely. I should be replacing it with an aftermarket item rather than OE but looks OE and this is a Highline van and the grill that I'm replacing it with is one that looks like a sport line. Only real difference, this is matte black, the one I've got is gloss black and the chrome blades are on top of the vents in this grill, they're on the front of the grill that I've bought. As you can see there's a lot of damage, there's a big hole there, there's actually missing material there. It's split all the way along here to around here, that's popped out and the whole thing is no longer secure and rattles whilst you're driving. So unfortunately it's got to go. Fortunately these are easy to swap. All we're going to need for this job is some screwdrivers. First of all, we have to remove this large screw. Probably like me, you'll be able to do it with your fingers. And that allows you to remove this panel, which separates the battery compartment from the rest, but you can leave the rest of this panel in place. There should be a fixing here, but it's broken off. And that I think is down to the impact of the bird. Here is what it should look like, and it's a simple pop-out centre rivet, plastic rivet. And if you can lift the little centre pip, like so, then you should find that the rest of the rivet becomes loose. There we go. So think of it like a roll plug. That pushes into your vehicle's plastics, and that spreads the two wings and stops it from coming back out. So as long as you can pull the center pin out, you should be able to wriggle the big bit out. And there is another one of those here. Again. Now that that's removed, you can see this is loose and you can pull it forward. And you pull the bottom forward at either end. And out she comes. And what we were doing was pulling this tang out of a clip. One very basic one in the middle and another one at the far end. That exposes a nice view of three radiators up front. People like me, if they're getting a new grill, will not be getting a new badge because these are expensive. So I need to rescue this one. And if you just flip it over, however it's removed from the van, there are these one, two, three 
clips but holding it in place. Now this badge was put in by pushing in from the front and then twisting it this way. And we've got to twist it back that way and we can't because this clip has dropped over the edge of a little cam. So you have to press that down like so and keep it down whilst you do the same with two others. Meaning ideally it's a two person job or a bit of patience and finagling and you'll get it out. Yay! Now I'm going to get all three started. There we go. Twists. And then should drop out. There we go. I feel like a beastie boy. Depends how old you are, whether you get that or not. Here you can clearly see the difference. The design is identical. The finish is gloss as opposed to slightly textured satin at best I guess. And the chrome work is actually a feature. There's a moulded recess that this sits in whereas on this it's a flat strip and it's attached to the top edge of the grill. So I'm fitting this without the badge because that gives me a little bit of better access to see what I'm doing. Protective foam pads on the corners because they're relatively delicate and easy to scratch up. And what I'm going to do is slide this clip here into a little gap down here and there's one in the middle, it's got to go here, hence the badge missing is useful. Keep it low, it seems to be the tip. So it hooks under the lip on the bumper. So keep the thing pressed down as you're pushing it back. That looks like we're in position. Just check all the holes line up. And they do. So now it's time to put the clips back. As you remember, we've got this piece that separates the battery compartment. And it has a screw. So that goes in there quite nicely. I've got a couple of replacement clips because as, you show, as I showed you, we've got a broken one. That looks good. Just push them into position by the base and then you push the top down. Now we just need to put our badge on. And you've got to get the little tangs through the slots so it goes in at about 11 o'clock. And if you push it back, should be able to twist it to 12 o'clock. 
and there she goes. And now the Beastie Boys can't get it unless they take the grill off. And that is how you change the grill on a Volkswagen Transporter T5.1. If you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.